Hey, what's up? Today I'm going to show you how to get this cool setup for your iPhone. Come with me and I'm going to show you how to get it done. So heads up to the settings, find shortcuts, and then you need to change the settings, allow running scripts to be enabled. Then once you have done that, go to this website where we're going to download the home screen creator. Scroll down to the bottom of the page where we're going to find the link. Click on it, then you will download it. It will load the shortcuts app and then it will prompt to install. So when you run it the first time, you need to select the type of device that you are using. In my case, it's the iPhone 12 Pro Max. So if the application asks you to download the zip, you need to click download content zip and you need to allow it to connect to the GitHub. Once you have downloaded, then a prompt will appear and it will say that the content has been downloaded and it will show as well the location inside the files app. As you can see here, it's a folder called shortcuts hsc content.zip. Now the next step is to go to the files app, find that folder and then unzip it. As you can see here inside the unzipped folder, you're gonna find all the assets that are required for the icon shadows. And not only for the icons, but for the widget and for the dock as well. Now at this stage, you don't need to do anything with the folder. Just go back to the shortcuts app and then click on the home screen creator again. Then you need to choose yes. So let's start with the widgets. Once you go into the widget folder, you will see that you have many options. I will go with the shadows depth. So when you click on it, then you can choose the location of your widget. After that, it will ask if you want to add another layer, you need to click yes. Then I'm going to add the next widget. And then the icons. Then you need to save your overlay, just give it a name. And of course you have to choose now the wallpaper. By the way, for the wallpaper, the links are in the description. The next step here is to select if you want to mask the wallpaper. Let's go with the card style. Then it will present how it will look like. Then you need to click set wallpaper and save photo. So the next step is not mandatory, but I would recommend this is in order to hide the notch. Just run again the home screen creator. And at this time you need to select, no, I have a layout. Then navigate through the folders and then select the layout that you just saved. Then you need to choose again the wallpaper. Now this time you need to select hide the notch. That you're gonna save now the new mask on top of the previous one. Then you need to click set wallpaper and save photo. That's it. Once you are back to the home screen, you will see that all the shadows will be here. Now it's just a matter of adding the widgets in the same position that you have created the shadows. For the main widget, if you want to have a similar widget that I'm adding it here, you need to use an application that is called Brass. So once you are in the Brass application, you need to go to the widget section and then click on the plus at the top. And then in this section, you can customize the widget to the way you like it. I'll just edit white and then the text in gray. And I will choose this one. Now go back to the home screen and enter in the wiggle mode or jiggle mode. Add the widget here and search for brass. Then you can select the widget there, put in the location that you want, and then click on edit widget. And here you need to find the widget number equivalent to the one that you just created. Now you got the point. We added here a few widgets and the icons. I will just continue and I will speed up to the final result. Let me add here the icons. Now this is the final result. We have here all the icons with the widgets and with the shadows, and also hiding the notch and with this very interesting card style. 
that's pretty much it. If you want to check my other setups, click on this playlist right here. Thanks for watching and I see you in the next one.